Sweeties, welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and we are back with something brand new on our channel. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It is called Tips and Tutorials, so it'll either be a tip or a tutorial. And I've never done this before, so I hope you guys enjoy. I have learned how to do a double wide spiral staircase, as you can see here. So this is what I am going to show you how to do today. This one is on the short walls. Now, the original I have to give credit to goes to RJR Gaming, and he did the single wide spiral staircases. Three by three, all the way down. You got a perfect little box, very tight, very small, tiny home, perfect. Um, he got it figured out before I could, so you know. Hats off to you, RJ, you did awesome, I love it. Um, so you can see back here where I kept it open so you can see how it goes up and then I have one here for you So to do a double wide This is what it looks like and we are going to come up here and I will show you how to do this So the first thing you are going to do is take your staircase Then you are going to double it up because you have to do that first and then here on your staircase, if you notice, you have this new function here. So you're going to flip it. We're going to go to the left. All these bins are going to be to the left. You can bend to the right, and then all your bins need to be to the right if you do that. But I like going to the left. Don't know why, but we go to the left. Then this tool here is going to pop up. And what you're going to want to do is push this all the way up to four stairs. So you can either pull it down, or you can push it up. Once you push it up, you see that this turn came back in, so we're going to turn it one more time, and there you go. We got our four, our four, and our four. That is as simple as that is. So then you're going to go into your foundations here, or deckings, whatever you want to call it. You get this flat square here. We're going to put this bad boy right over here, and you're going to bring this baby down to two by one. So it looks like that. I'm gonna pull it back just a little more here, just cause, you know, I don't know, just because. So then what you're gonna do is make sure you're on short walls here, which we are on. You're gonna hit this copy button. You can see the yellow highlighted box here. and you want to have your grid on. So you can see all the little boxes around it and everything here in the yellow highlight. So you're going to put it on the yellow highlight, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're going to click. So that's going to give you your next level up of your flooring deck here. Then you're going to grab this one, you're going to copy, you're going to go up one more flooring level. If you don't know how I'm doing that without hitting this up button up here, you just hit page up on your keyboard if you're using a um, US standard keyboard. I don't know what they call that, I'm so sorry. Then that is gonna give you your next deck. So we're at level one, level two, you can go up to four levels in The Sims. So we're gonna copy again, we're gonna go up one more level, we're gonna place it, we're gonna copy again, we're gonna go up to the fourth level and place it. And then I can't go up any higher, when I page up, it will not let me. So this is how your decks look as of right now. Then you're going to take your sledgehammer and you're just going to get rid of that bottom deck. You don't need it at this point. It won't spiral that closely. It is not a tight knit spiral if you want to double wide. It is a lot wider. Then you're going to take your staircase you made. You are going to copy it. And these two highlighted squares on the top of your staircase there where your landing is, you're going to put that right up here on that and click. And then it'll lock right in place for you. So the next one, you want to get above it. You're going to go down to your flooring level. So you can see there I'm down to it. So go up on the floor. So we have one up. Get above it. Click it. Drag it over three. One, two, three. Pull this one in three. One, two, three. 
then you have your deck like that. So now you're gonna grab your stair, copy it, you're going to flip it, and the top green landing arrows you're gonna put up here again, and it'll automatically click in place for you. Then you're going to go up a flooring, so there you got your deck there. You just go over to your stairs, you copy it, the upper green arrows for your top deck you're gonna place up here on your top floor. Put your little mouse on there and it'll click right in. Voila! For our last floor, you're gonna go up a level, you'll have your decking, go above it, go over three, one, two, three, bring it back three, one, two, three, you have your staircase like that. Now you're gonna copy your stairs over here, turn them, upper green scares on the upper deck again. So you're just gonna place it and it will pop. If you don't know how I'm turning it without hitting these turn buttons when I have it highlighted, they are the comma and the period button on the US standard keyboard. And then you could put on any railing for your stairs that you like you just start clicking them and they will all go like that and then as you see i have a little dipping there and it just looks weird so you can put any fence there so let me grab the one i had there it is and then you just click it if you hold down shift you can click all of it at once which it will highlight in the front for some odd reason so I don't do that I just get on the side and I click 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 and then I turn it this way and I click 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 all done now if you want this gray to go away and you want it to look more like your stairs which I have done over here you're just going to grab something that looks like the stairs and Whoa, keyboard, quit being crazy. There we go. I just grabbed something that looks like it. And then you can hit shift to hold it down. And voila, you just follow those little deckings up. And with the staircase black and white, it all fills it. And there you go. You have a perfect spiral staircase. You can look at it from above and there you go there's your gapping in there perfect now if you're doing a double wide spiral staircase the best one to do it on for wall heights is medium so that one i'm going to show you next give me just one moment and i'll be right with you all right we are back sweetians and this is the medium wall height right here as you can see it looks a little tighter it looks a little bit better and it is this one does work best on the medium once again back here i do have rjr's gaming um medium wall high spiral staircase you can see you can still get it in a three by three square for a medium height staircase which is really nice if you're doing a smaller tiny build you'll want to do the singles and I will link his video down below if you want to go see how to do just the single wide um, but sometimes you know you need a double wide so this is how thick it is once you get the double wide going and I will show you guys how to do that now so you are going to go and grab your foundation again the square and place it down and you're gonna bring it to a two by two there we go now that is ready so then you're just gonna grab the stairs you want to use and in this case I'm gonna use these stairs here once again you're gonna hit your bin you're gonna bend to the left like I said you can bend to the right but then all your bins need to be to the right when you're here you don't want to move this you want to leave that alone you're going to bend one more time down here to the left and then you're gonna take this one and bend it to the left and there you go oh crap we forgot to double it wait a minute gotta go back you gotta double it first sorry you can't undouble it you can't double it once you bend it so that's what i'm trying to say so you're gonna bend it in the middle 
<laughs> you're gonna bend the bottom down. You're gonna bend the top, still the same. So then you have a double wide, there it is. So, for this one here, you're gonna get on here, you're gonna copy, you're gonna get your grid to highlight and you're gonna put it on your yellow circle like last time. You're gonna copy it in, go up the next level, put it on, copy it in again, go up the next level, put it on, copy it again, go up your next level, put it on. There you go, you have all your levels, that is the way your decking looks. Then you are going to click on your staircase, I mean your hammer, sorry, and you're going to get rid of the bottom. Then you're going to click your staircase here, I don't know why I did it like that, and you're going to copy it. The two green top arrows you're going to place up here on your top deck, and it will snap for you. There you go, there is that one. Then you're gonna grab your next one you're gonna copy it you're gonna place it up on your upper deck up here and you are gonna click it and it will automatically click in there's no extra movings on this one you're gonna copy here you're gonna click the two arrows up here the bottom will automatically snap you're gonna click there you go then you're gonna click this one copy it again back up here and voila, you have the spiral staircase. And like I said, the medium wall height is the best one to use on this. Then once again, you can add your railings. And this one here, the decking is all included on it. Back here, so all you have to do here is grab the railing you would like with it. And put it on. And if I get my camera to angle right so it knows where I want to click. And there we go. And then once again, you can just <clears throat> copy that flooring and put it right down here so it matches your staircase of whichever one you are using. And voila, you have your double wide staircase. Medium height is the preferred method for the double wide spiral. So all nice, tight, beautiful, pretty, there you go. That is how you're going to want to do that one. The next one I'm going to show you is how to do it on the tallest wall height. It is a little bit harder and a little bit trickier, but we can get it accomplished. Give me just a moment. I'll be with you there. All right, Zweedians, we are back with the double stair tall walls. So here is what it looks like. It is... A bit bigger a bit wider it can be done um, if you really want those and back here I do once again have RJR gaming's um, single as you can tell it is a lot harder to do with the single in the very tall wall heights um, they glitch out a little bit and each one will bump out one extra tile because you will have to be back one square every time in order for the landing um, because it is like a couple stairs off of like leveling to get it to go to the floor so it will pull you back every single time on the, each floor by one tile so just keep that in mind if you want to go single but it can be done it's just not as tight as the short or the medium wall heights for the single for the double it is tight it's just wider as you can see, we have a few more squares in the middle with a two wide by six square on this one. So once again, we're gonna make this nice and simple. We're gonna start with the stairs that we want. Face them here for us. You're gonna have your stairs. You're gonna have this bend tool. We're gonna bend it to the left. When you see that bend to the left, we're good. We got a highlight we can scroll up or we can bend again. This time we are going to go up. And we're going to pull this bad boy because you can stop here. But we're going to go on up to four. Oh, no, we're not. We got to bend it. Double it first. Haha, ha, I lied. Double it first. My bad. And then you're going to bend it. Then you're going to bring this bad boy up to four. You can stop early. We don't want to stop there we're gonna go up to four then we're gonna bend again and so your stairs will look like that 
after that, you're going to go get your decky. You're going to get this little square again. We're going to place this bad boy down. And we're going to move it to be a 2 by 4 tile wide square again. So move back one, move back one. I said 2 by 4, I meant 2 by 2. So we have 4 tiles showing. I'm so sorry. Oh, me and my mouth sometimes don't always work with my brain. Alright, I'm going to move it out just a little bit because it does take some room on the lot. And I want to make sure I have enough here. Then you're just going to do as before. We're going to copy this. We're going to get the grid and the highlight to show. We're going to put it down. We're going to copy again. We're going to go up a level. We're going to put it down. We're going to copy again. Go up a level. We're going to put it down. Copy one more time. Go up a level. Put it down. And then we have all of our deckings. They look like that. We're ready to roll. We're going to grab our hammer. We're going to get rid of this bottom tool. Then we are going to click here on our decking stairs. We're going to copy them. You're going to put the green highlighted arrows for your top stair deck up on this top landing. And click in place. Now we're going to have to go to the stairs down below just like we did on the short wall height. And we're going to move this bad boy over by three. So, hey, hey. One, two, three, oops, four, my bad. One, two, three, four. Short was three, tall is four, my bad. Then you're going to grab this stair, copy it. You're going to flip it with your comma key twice, hit that button. Then the green top arrow deckings you're going to put up on this top landing. So we're going to put it right here and it will click right in for you. There we go. We're going to go up a level here. We got it all highlighted. This is easiest to do it from above so you can see it like click in my opinion. Then I'm going to click my stairs. I'm going to copy it. Those green top decking arrows, I'm going to put up on that top deck at the front here. So I'm going to put it here. It'll click right in place. I'm going to go up a level again. I'm going to move this over by four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move it over by four again. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to grab the stairs, copy them. I'm going to use the comma key and I'm going to hit it twice. There's once, there's two. I'm going to put the top green arrow landings up on this top landing up here. And it will click right in. There we go. And then I'm going to go up. Nope, that is the last one. All right. There you go. There is your spiral staircase double four tier. And then once again, if I want to put the railings on it, I easily can. Can smash it. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. And then I can put the fencing on it as well. Just the same way we did before on the short. It does look a little bit more odder because of the fact that you have to go. Oops, I forgot a stair. <laughs> you have to go two tiles wide. So it does go back here just a little bit. Um, it glitches out when you do the one tile wide. Um, you should be able to do it, but um, it does glitch when you do it only the one tile wide like we did the small. If you can get that to work, be my guess. I, more power to you. I couldn't, so I gave up and went to this. And then if I want them to all be black like before here we go i'll just make it easy for me to find it that is not the one i use that one is it then i can just put it on down here which does help it blend in a little better hey And then down here, I can do that as well. And then there you go. You have your perfect double tall wide standard stairs, which if you've seen my last build challenge, which you can see there in the background um, for 
Kate Emerald's build challenge. I did do it magically and I did make it float and I used a lot of the stairs. And I did use the um, double wide combo up here in the front, but I had to change it up because as you can see, I started building at four levels high, which is a trick that you can build higher than four levels in The Sims 4, as you can see over there. But those are trick and how you have to do it. If you would like me to teach you how to do that, just let me know down below in the comments or if there's anything else you would like to know, please let me know. Um, I am willing to do more if I know the answer and I know how to do it. I have absolutely no problem sharing with you guys. So let me know. Until next time, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to share it with any of your friends or family that you think will get any use out of it or enjoy to watch it as well. And if you haven't hit that big red subscribe button yet, go ahead. You don't want new, you don't la 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 la. You don't know what new things I'll come out with next. So in next time, all my sweetians out there have a sweet delicious day. Bye. Bye.